a very warm welcome to everybody my name is gaurav madan and i'm an entrepreneur marketer and speaker uh, i've been doing marketing for quite long it's been as long as i remember almost 6 years now so one thing which i have seen a lot of people do wrong is sales funnel so today in this particular video i wanted to actually share with a lot of people a lot of you guys that what exactly uh, is sales funnel or what are sales funnels and how you can get better at it that's the entire objective of doing this video all right so other than this i have also a digital marketing trainer i train people and not just that i also consult businesses worldwide to help them make their own sales funnels okay let's sell better let's sell better that's the objective for today all right so i'm just looking right now if everything is working fine okay so guys very first thing which we have with us is what are sales funnels sales funnels are steps that a consumer takes in the entire process before making a transition from prospect into a customer okay so it's an entire kind of transition from prospect into a customer so you have to understand that the person is taking a transaction all right a transition so you have to make sure that you make this transition very very effective and easy for people now how normally people really go ahead and build their funnels as everybody knows about landing pages possibly uh, and a thank you page so what they would do is they would go ahead and they would make a landing page okay and uh, then we they'll have some web form on it uh, they'll make a bigger landing page or a smaller landing page and we'll have an exit pop up or light box there uh, along with that they'll have some form of free marketing codes installed there and then uh, they'll have a thank you page which would be used for tracking mostly so what they do is normally they start sending traffic they start sending traffic okay start sending traffic to this landing pages now now when you talk about this when they start sending traffic to these landing pages it's just not the right way uh, of doing it because just imagine it uh, in a way that you just reached out on the road and you saw a girl a very beautiful girl and then what happens you liked her you had love at first sight and you go to her and you say would you marry me so this is what is happening right now in the sales funnel you're building a landing page and sending traffic directly to this page and when you do that that simply means that you're actually asking for marriage at the very first sight to that particular girl or to that particular customer okay so what is going to happen mostly uh, you're going to face rejection that's what going to what is going to happen you're actually going to face rejection okay so this is not the right way of actually doing marketing or selling effectively online it's a wrong way so a lot of people say to me god of whenever i tell them are you really serious about this and i say yes i'm damn serious about this you're doing it wrong that's a wrong way to sell then what is the right way to sell god of people do ask me a lot of times do i have not really been able to uh, you know put forward this form of content ever earlier but a uh, few of my colleagues know this and i've been telling them that this is not how you sell online so they keep on asking me what is it exactly how do you sell it okay so understand sales funnels are like marriage if there is no trust then it would not work out well so very first part in the entire thing is you need to build trust you need to build trust okay that's the main objective that's the core objective trust needs to be developed we to develop trust the very first requirement would be to give something valuable for free okay when when somebody helps you uh, normally we call them angels uh, people who help us without expecting anything in return they are angels right so we try to help at the first time so you must have even uh, heard about gary vayner chuck saying jab 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 right hook so when you talk about jab 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 right hook so first you try to jab them and then you really go for the right hook now the narrative uh, today online has been like that there has been so many right hooks 
uh, people have learned how to dodge these light right hooks. That is why you cannot really go for direct selling. So direct selling is not really a great art, I would say. Okay, uh, you should. It's no more done on social media or, or online. So you should actually first go for the jab part where you're trying to give something for free. All right, and once you have the trust, once you have the trust, uh, then you could actually go ahead and give them their offer, give them uh, whatever they require altogether, uh, the product, okay? Because the chances of rejection now would become very, very less because they trust you. So before we actually uh, really start about and a good sales funnel, I would like you to know about some of the key terminologies. Uh, for example, very first thing is called a lead magnet. A second terminology is tripwire. Third terminology is core offer. Fourth is profit maximizers. And then fifth is uh, lifetime value, customer lifetime value. And that translates into even 11 month promotional plan or a promotion plan for 11 month. So please do understand all of them right now uh, properly. I'm going to walk you through one by one through each of it. Now, very first thing is called lead magnet. So guys, what is this lead magnet? A lead magnet is something that you are using as an ethical bribe on your lead generation page to incentivize potential buyers and then asking them for the name, email, phone number, address or whatever info is that you're really asking for. So all I'm trying to say is you make up a lead magnet, a freebie. It could be uh, where they could be various freebies altogether. Uh, they could be ebook. They could be a free course, free e-course. Normally seven days e-course are very famous with this. A checklist. Uh, you could go with a checklist just like most of the time HubSpot would do or Neil Patel would do a template. Uh, an exclusive video, a uh, seven-day free e-course. So you could you could think of various ethical bribes which you could actually go ahead and give for free to a prospect who has turned up on your website. So that's called a lead magnet. That's called a lead magnet. So it attracts people to sign up on your website because you're giving something for free. That's why it's called a lead magnet. It's a magnet. Okay, it's attracting people. The very next thing which we have in the viewport right now is tripwire. Now, what is this tripwire? It's a very famous word used internationally, but not a lot of people use it locally at uh, in our country. So, tripwire is actually 10% of your actual product given at a very, very low price like $1 or Rs. 99 to give an experience to the customer of the real product. You must have seen a lot of software companies doing it with the help of a demonstration, a demo. You could take a free demo or 14 days free trial. Okay, so it's actually uh, all together Tripwire is kept at $1 and not really, really given for free. And the reason for that is that we don't really want uh, known serious people uh, altogether if you go ahead and give uh, it for a particular price point okay a very small price point more people would actually go ahead and really go through the your 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 10 percent of the product if you give it for free most of the people will just uh, keep it in the trash just like other free things we don't really value about so it is very very important that you give it for either uh, you know one dollar or rupees 99 have some form of money for it some examples to display tripwires would be right now one dollar trials software products okay uh, if it is software products you could do one dollar trials then if it is uh, a coaching sessions you could go ahead and give a demo class at one dollar uh, if it is a uh, you know if, if you're really in e-commerce you could give 99 rupees or 0.99 dollar a physical product shipment which is not really very big cost to you but definitely demonstrates the uh, creative work which you have put in then for an agency you could give and give give audits all together for one dollar uh, and you could also send sample products like a physical product uh, in case of any physical product agency or not agency physical product industry now guys the very next part which we have with us is something called as a core offer 
So core offer, what is this core offer? This is this is the actual thing which you were selling at the first page, I mean first place on, on your uh, landing page. Okay, this was earlier number one in the sequence which people used to do. But I would suggest you don't do it at number one, you do it at number four. Don't worry, I'll show you the real funnel. Okay, so core offer is the actual product or service which you're trying to sell to your prospects. This is your main product. This is your key product, okay, which you actually want to go ahead and sell. So this is the main product. So the game has just begun. When the customer purchases the core offer, actually, you're only going to break even. Believe me, you put so much amount of money in marketing, you spend money in advertising. So by the time you sell your core offer, uh, you're not going to be really profitable. You're going to be just breaking even. That means whatever money you have spent altogether and uh, entire workflow process of advertising so far or marketing so far that has been recovered but there is something more we just started the game has just started actually now the very next thing which we have something is something called as profit maximizers we have something called as profit maximizers so guys profit maximizers are better known with the name OTOs or upsells OTO is one time offer so once the customer has come so far, that means he trusts us. He really, really trusts us right now. That's why he has given the money for our core product. Now we need to think of an offer which is not really a cost to us. And uh, we could make, an, make it an upgradable offer for our existing customers using our existing resources. So something which is not going to be very uh, big cost to you. But then, uh, if you sell that, you'll make huge amount of profits, okay? And when these are sold, you actually make a lot of money. You really, really make a lot of money, okay? So this is what you have altogether, one single thing, uh, which is called as profit maximizers. So let me give you some examples. For example, in, in terms of really a software or coaching uh, product, you could give it a pro or an elite upgrade, okay, with more features towards it. Then uh, in terms of e-commerce, uh, you could always do cross sales. You could always do cross sales. Okay. Like you could uh, go ahead and give compliments, uh, something which complements the one which the person has purchased. Like for example, see this, uh, I, I go ahead and purchase a jeans today. Just an example, a shirt or a t-shirt would actually complement it. A shirt or a t-shirt would actually complement it all together. So why not uh, go ahead and sell and shirt or a t-shirt along with it okay so uh, if it is if you are all together an agency then you could go ahead uh, give your basic product as uh, SEO or any core offering which you have and then you could mix it up with other upgrades like you could sell design services you could sell landing pages services you could sell Facebook marketing you could sell AdWords marketing so and all those things as upgrades so guys, there could be an N number of uh, profit maximizers that could be thought, thought over. Uh, for example, uh, if I would have been into a coaching business, I would have done consulting as my uh, major uh, upgrade. Now consulting altogether, I have people with me, I have people working with uh, for me already. I'm going to use only those people. I'm not going to pay anything extra to anybody in this entire world, but I'm going to make a product out of my existing resources and then I'm going to pitch that product to my customer or client and I'm going to get the maximum profit out of it. So a lot of people have tried a lot of times uh, with different number of OTOs in the sequence. Basically, you don't have one one time selling offer or you don't have one upgrade or one profit maxi maximizer. So uh, you should the, the optimal number for having uh, OTOs is three. So basically, I've been testing it a lot and from 1 to 10, I've got done multiple OTOs for multiple uh, clients, for multiple products altogether in multiple industries. And I came to know that 3 is the optimal number of OTOs. It gives us the maximum benefit without really annoying the customer. So it's just like this. You go to McDonald's, you ask for a burger, and then they will say, oh, uh, would you like to have a meal? Now, you would not know, but McDonald's actually makes a loss of uh, uh, revenue loss of loss altogether on the basic product offering which is a burger okay what it actually fetches profit out of is the fries and the cold drink or the beverage which it sells off further 
along with that burger. So it's a very, very interesting or exciting concept wherein you should understand it's the uh, OTOs which makes you profits. It's not, not the core product which is going to make you the profits. Now, uh, once you've done with the profit maximizers, the next part would come in terms of, now these people guys trust you. They really, really trust you. They have invested money with you. They're going to go through your product. They're going to have your product, wear your product. If it's a, it is a physical product, they're going to use your product. Now, once I buy from a particular vendor, I'm not going to end it right there. If today my shoes are torn off, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the same shoe provider, believe me, and first thing I'm going to look for is a similar kind of shoes. So there is something called as LTV. LTV is called lifetime value of a customer. Every customer has a lifetime value. Once customer has purchased from you, that means you have his trust. So he's going to buy again from you. So we need to keep our customers engaged with our blog post, keep providing them value, mostly through articles, posts, videos, good informative videos share everything whatever you can which is going to add value to their uh, to your product as a core offering okay i'm going to add a add value to them to whatever they are trying to achieve and then what you could do is in between you could promote your own other products okay so you could launch your own products this is going to be a responsive responsive customer base whenever you launch these are going to be the first people who are going to buy from you or you could go ahead and do affiliate marketing Meaning, you could go ahead and promote other people's products and get commissions on them. Why just keep the boundaries limited to your own products? Why not go to somebody else's product and pr promote a complimentary product and get commissions in return? So, altogether, that's called an 11-month promotional plan. So, guys, I'm going to reveal now altogether the actual funnel to you. Okay. Though this funnel, I never really thought of. I'll be doing a training right now. But then uh, I just thought, let's do it. And I'm here right now. So, though guys, what is the real funnel? The real funnel is right here. If you'll see this, this is going to blow off your mind away. This is the actual funnel, what it looks like. Now, there is going to be very first thing which comes into the entire offering is something called as a lead magnet. It's something called as a lead magnet. Okay. And... Uh, this is going to be something for free. You give it for free and you take customer's name, email ID, phone number, all the data which you can possibly so that you could get back to uh, him uh, altogether whenever the need is required or whenever it is required basically. Next thing which you have is thank you page. Okay, earlier you were having a thank you page only but this time you'll have a thank you page with trip wire. Okay, you'll have a thank you page with tripwire. The person sees the tripwire. If he's interested to take it, fair enough. If he's not interested to take it, remarket the shit out of that person on Facebook, on Google Display Network, do emailers, uh, do everything in your possibility to get the person back to claim the tripwire. Okay, now once the person is really convinced about the tripwire, given you $1, given you 99 bucks, then you have his trust because he has done a monetary transaction already trusting you. The very next thing which you have to do is you have to go with uh, the core offer. So okay, right after the person takes up the trip, you go ahead and uh, you uh, actually go with thank you page with core offer. Present your core offer to that guy. As soon as you present the core offer to the person, the person may take it, may exit. Okay, so if the person takes it very well, We'll move to the next step or if the person exits, doesn't take it, they will, no worries. We're going to go ahead and now do remarketing to him again. We're going to blow the shit away out of his entire dreams and we're going to remarket to him uh, on either Google Display Network or Facebook. Twitter also supports remarketing. Go for, for that big blow. It's going to really help. Now, you keep on, uh, you don't show the same kind of ads everywhere. Remember this, okay? So try showing some of the case studies which help people after taking that core offer. Maybe some of the happy customer faces. Okay, that will really, really help you. Don't show the same ad again and again remarketing. That's very important. Now, once you've done that, you go ahead and you uh, do the thank you page with profit maximizers. We call it OTUs. Okay, you could have profit maximizer one. Similarly, you could have profit maximizer two and you could have profit maximizer three. Okay. And uh, that's how it is going to proceed forward. Similarly, you'll have remarketing uh, 
e-marketing advertisements done for each one of them and you will also have email uh, sequences done for each one of them okay so it's very very important you keep the entire entire material ready before you actually go into diving to dive into really driving traffic so this this, this all of this preparation has to be done even before you step into driving traffic okay and then uh, obviously after the profit maximizer three you'll have the thank you page with excess uh, details all right or their uh, delivery and whatever xyz things that is required to be done to get the products shipped to them so all those details and then uh, you keep uh, bugging them with not really bugging them you keep providing value to them in terms of uh, blog posts and other things okay and it is going to be kind of like 11 month email promo sequence you should have email promo sequence we call it email marketing is huge guys so you could always get them to your web browser push notifications as well and build actually uh, build something like a push notification sequence that's a new technology in house now a lot of people are using it i also use it get tremendous amount of ctrs so you should definitely use that so you go ahead and put forward the 11 month email promo sequence and you keep on promoting other people's products and you keep on maximizing your profits from the same existing customers now that my dear friends is the real funnel okay now that my dear friends is a real funnel i hope uh, you understood this funnel okay let me know if you have any questions into the chat box i would like to answer your questions right now 